Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to do easy garbage matting in Vegas Pro. I have done a whole bunch of videos on Vegas Pro and I've actually done an, an extensive one on green screening. But for some reason, the YouTube algorithm has deep sixed it. So if you go to this site, server808.net, and you go to this one called Green Screen Masterclass, this with this girl dancing on it, this is, you can't even find this on YouTube. If you type in how to green screen Vegas Pro, you cannot even find this video. So it's kind of a shame. I don't know what's going on with why it's been buried in the algorithm. But anyway, watch that one. And it, I do a really great job of explaining how to do a great green screen in Vegas Pro. But this is just a quick and dirty one of that. So I wanted to show you something here real fast. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control and I'm gonna select both these tracks and I'm gonna hit U to un ungroup them and then I'm going to delete the audio track and then I'm just going to bring in the background image that I'm going to place well let me just delete this audio track altogether here and then I'll just bring my green screen underneath it here uh, we got our two tracks our foreground green screen and I'm just going to do like I said a quick and dirty green screen on this so we're just going to come into FX we're going to go to green screen or I guess we call it chroma key in here and I'll just show you my little tricks and stuff we go to the color and you see this eyedropper here so on this particular screen there's some hot spots so the suggestion is to draw your color from the hot spot not from the shadow area so and don't just click a spot but drag like a rectangle out like this and I think what it does is it averages it better and gives you a better green screen right away and you can see the image coming through right away i actually find that kind of distracting so i guess what i can do is just let's uh mute that uh doesn't that mute it yeah let's just mute the background uh, ground right there and then what we can do is then play with these sliders but what you really want to do is hit this show mask only and you can see what a horrible screen screen we got right now so just uh, play with these sliders and you want this to be as white as possible and see there's some bad lighting going on here there might be some green reflections going on here. So some of this is not properly lit from a green screen perspective, but we're going to do the best we can. So I'm going to, we're trying to make it dark. So I'll pull this up and I'll just, I'm just trying to make it as white as possible. And that other tutorial I have, I'm just doing the best I can with these sliders. So we're trying to get that as white as possible. And we'll get a pretty good key, but it's not going to be perfect. And we're going to have some garbage. See, the better I get the light, you see the more of the garbage mats coming. So this is what this tutorial is about, is the garbage mat. So I'm going to, since that's what we're going to be doing, I'm just going to go ahead and let it get kind of garbagey. Because I'm going to try to get the best screen I can. That's about as good as I can get it with these sliders. I can get it better, get it better with some other plugins, but we're just using this. So now I'll go ahead and kill that and you'll see we've got this garbage over here so now how did we get rid of that well we just have to go in our masking tool and so we come in here on pan and crop and here it's a there's a box you got to make sure it's checked and make sure you stay on that keyframe this first keyframe and this is a great tool there's a what they call it the anchor creation tool or you can just use one of these pre-designed figures for this we could probably just use the square so what I do is I can just click and drag oops where am I? I'm over here I right, click and drag and just get all this and you know what you'll do is you'll see this little box here whether you want a positive or negative mask and we want a negative mask and then it gets rid of it but we can keep going there's more stuff up here so what you do is you right click and go deselect all and now we can draw another mask here like that and again we set it to negative mask and you know maybe there's that little spot right there I can show you how the anchor creation tool works you can come here and just click 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 and then you just have to close it up and then right click and deselect all and you can draw as many of these masks as you want then so now if I hit close, 
oops I got to go back in here and turn off the mask and then I can unmute this you can see I have poor resolution on my screen right now but you can see that we actually have a pretty good mask right here and the great thing about doing this is now we can uh, actually if I wanted to I could I could crop in on this picture in the background here so let me do that that plane looks kind of distracting oh what the heck leave it like that so anyway I can print this out so if you want to check how good your mask is just print out a screenshot of it and look at it and then you can get a pretty good look at how good you did but a lot of it will it'll go back to how well you lit the object and if the object itself was reflective or anything like that so you're gonna have problems that would be it, it doesn't matter the software that's like lighting at the green screen problem so anyway i hope you found this helpful take care and i will talk to you next time hey i'm just adding this as a quick update after you've selected with the anchor tool let's say you're selecting with this anchor tool here to mask out another area like here you click here 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 and here you might not see the choice of the positive or negative mask just click on the normal edit tool and then you can set your positive or negative mask right there so i just wanted to throw that in there real fast okay take care have a great day and i'll talk to you next time